Hi, I'm Paul Holofko. Today we're going to learn about how to change, raise, or lower the amount of parts per million in your hydroponic system. In general, the parts per million in a, in a watering system is really calculated by the EC or electroconductivity. Later on, it's, it's uh, translated over into parts per million of dissolved material. What you really want to do in a hydroponic system is you want to have a threshold of around uh, 400 parts per million. In this case, um, I'm using a EC meter or a parts per million e meter and I stick it into the, I put it in the right setting and stick it into this aquaponic system. This is an aquaponic system as opposed to a hydroponic system, but the same type of rules apply for it. Uh, right now the parts per million for this aquaponic system is 223. If you want to lower the parts per million or, the, or change the EC content of your, of your water, you need to do a partial ch water change. If you want to increase the parts per million of your water in your hydroponic system, just add any type of fertilizer or dissolved material in there and it will increase it. Generally, you don't want to go too high above 400. In that case, you'll end up having lockout, especially when the pH changes. And what the lockout is, it's really where the plant has so much nutrients that it can't anymore absorb anymore. It locks out the nutrients while it's plenty available. And then the leaves are bright green. They're really, really uh, vibrant green, but they curl in. At that time, your hydroponic system is finished. It's best to start over with the plants and put new ones in there. I'm Paul Holofko.